Hi, this is your reading for November 2020. Someone rising in sign. Let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Okay. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others at this moment. Okay. And forgiveness. Who are you forgiving? Let's go into your cards. The top part cancer will be your energy the bottom part is the person that you are dealing with or in a connection with or you're thinking about okay that will be their energy let's go in here in the cards here for cancer november 2020 okay seven of swords coming in here That Seven of Swords has been popping up a lot and a lot of readings, okay, for this little spread here. So you're feeling like someone's not honest with you. You're ready to walk away or <laughs> express yourself in some type of way and hit the road. That's what I feel here, Cancer, okay? Page of Wands um, that's showing up here. So I feel like you want to communicate with whoever this is, but you can't trust what they're saying. I've been saying this a lot because this card keeps showing up for like everyone's reading. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, you're dealing with possibly an air sign, um, fire sign that you don't necessarily, um, that you feel is being deceptive towards you, okay? Not being honest with their words, not being truthful, okay, with the things that they say and, and where they say they at. <laughs> okay, goodness, all right. Your attention hey. to this person. They have the star card. Hey, goodness, what is going on? These reading has, readings have been so crazy. This devil card and the seven of swords have been showing up, popping up, okay? For a lot of my signs here. This person energy feels um, controlling, possibly manipulative. I feel like you should follow your intuition, trust in what your gut is saying at this moment, okay? That's what I feel here. Let's see why this energy is coming out for them. The star card and the devil card is a very strange pair, okay, to put together there. You may have loved someone. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, you may see this person wanting to come back and ask for forgiveness. But I feel, yeah, you have the four of pentacles. You've had that important revelation, okay? about some moves that you needed to make and you're trying to love yourself right now at this moment you have the ten of cups and the four of pentacles coming in here i feel like you're definitely trying to love yourself make sure that you are okay um tend to your happiness tend to your emotions um and you're waiting for better better things to move into your life right now at this moment. The spirit guide is saying, let your friends help you ex ask for and accept support from others. Maybe you need emotional support uh, or people that you trust around you right now at this moment. That's what I'm feeling. Okay. Wedding. Some of you guys are married to this individual. Here, the situation involves marriage. And you have abundance here. I feel like this is the energy that you wanted to have uh, in the connection abundance. But you may be creating this all on your own here, okay? The card is saying waiting here. And you have the Ten of Cups rolling in. You may be creating this on your own. That's why I'm saying it um, like that, okay? Give me Cancer's energy here. 
Got his wedding and abundance here. Woo! Goodness, you're starting off with the Ace of Cups. You're like, someone new. New me, please, okay? I'm ready for new things in my life right now. And you have the Four of Pentacles rolling in again. So, um, you're definitely holding back from whoever you're dealing with. An ex, possibly. Okay. Your person is coming out with the Empress card. Kind of shot out. And the Emperor card. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> It doesn't seem like your person wants you to get away, though. Okay, Empress card and the Emperor card. They see you guys as two peas in a pod. Like, they don't want to let you go. They're going to hold on to you here, okay? Or they want to hold on to you. They like the control. They like what's happening in the relationship. And I feel like you just don't trust them. That's what's here, okay? They feel like everything is going well. You guys are meant to be with each other. But you may be looking for new love. That's more fulfilling here. With the Ace of Cups, this is new energy, new love. And you're holding yourself back, holding on to the things that you have. You may be planning to make some major shifts and changes in your life with the Four of Pentacles coming in. Makes me feel like you're holding on to your money or saving to relocate or do something different here, okay? But it doesn't look like your person is ready to let you go here. They see you guys being together and they have the star card coming out as well. You're what they want here, okay? Look at that. Six of cups and the eight of wands coming in. You'll be hearing this, how this person uh, doesn't want you to leave, how they want you to stay. I feel like they will definitely try to convince you to change your mind if you talk about leaving. Um, or if you have left already, they will try to change your mind to come back, okay, in some type of way with this devil energy coming in. Um, yeah, I feel like they're definitely trying to manifest or, or hold on to your energy um with this star card they're not over you okay whoever this is they're not over you and they're not ready to give you up here you make them feel good that's what that is okay true love is coming in here true love and perfect timing let's see who this is or what this is give me the cards here for cancer Is this energy here for cancer? Okay. Got the Ten of Swords coming up. Get all your cards out here. Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords. I, I feel like you're ready for someone new here because you have the Ace of Cups coming in. You have True Love, but it doesn't feel like the true love lies with whoever is um, in your past or whoever you are trying to let go of. Because you have the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords here. You feel um, as though that you're ready to release someone and start over new here. This person does not want to be put to rest. Four of swords in the hierophants, okay? They're like, you can't leave. You can't leave me, okay? You may have a temporary break with this person or they see it as very temporary with the four of swords. Like you guys are not on good terms right now, but that's not going to change. They want to stay married with you or stay connected with you wherever you are in your relationship with this person. They want to keep you around with the Hierophant card there. You feel like you want to be left, like you were deceived or tricked or taken advantage of with all of those swords sitting up there, Cancer. And it feels to me like it's new love that you want. Look at this. Your cards are flying all out of the place. You have the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups coming out again. Do you have new love? Okay. Love. <laughs> love. Listen to me. Do you have someone new here? 
Are you interested in someone else? I'll pick that up later, okay? Because Cancer, I feel like there's someone else in your in your heart right now at this moment. Someone new that you feel um, it's time to give them a chance here because whoever you were dealing with just did not cut it here. That's what I feel. And you have the Nine of Swords. So you're protecting your energy against this individual. <laughs> Whoever this is that you feel is toxic, you're protecting yourself with the nine of swords, okay? And trying to move on and plan for something new. Plan for a new life, for a new beginning for yourself, okay? Possibly a new person that has caught your attention. Some of you guys are feeling like this is the perfect time to make changes, to release yourself from the old here, okay? And put a situation to rest. Yeah. What message do you have here for Cancer? Cancer, they're saying spiritual protection. Mm. Okay. You are being watched over, Cancer, and protected physically, emotionally, and energetically. You may have a hot head on your hands, okay, that you feel like you need protection or you may constantly feel this person's energy pulling and tucking you back into a connection that you're trying to leave. That's because it's very strong, okay? It's very strong. I'm clearly saying it down here. They feel in some way that you belong to them. They don't want to see you with anyone else. Okay. Let's see what other messages they have for you. Stress reduction here. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need rest, recharge, and revive here. That's why this for. I know this is their energy down here, but I feel like that's what you're doing. Taking a break from whoever this is, disconnecting yourself. Okay, this could be someone, like I said, you've been in a long-term relationship with or you've been married to or you're married to and you guys are separated, going through a divorce, separation, Okay. They're saying your unique qualities are an important part of your life purpose. It's okay to feel and be different from others coming in here. It's okay to do things differently, okay? Yes. They want you to open up to the possibilities of change. And I feel like that's what you're doing anyway, okay? The five of... Uh, the Ten of Swords is letting me know that you're preparing yourself for some major changes in your life from detaching from someone that you feel has disrespected you, okay? Um, I see an ending here. That's what it feels like with the Ten of Swords and the Five of Swords. It's an ending to a lot of conflict possibly that you were dealing with here, Cancer, all right? That is y'all reading. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell because I will be back with you. And remember here, Cancer, that uh, the sun will shine again. I'm, I said that because I'm looking at this Ten of Swords. It's got my eye here. Okay, but I feel like the sun is coming over the horizon um, on this card and things will start to improve, but I feel like it will improve because you're making choices, better choices for yourself. Okay. That is y'all reading. Take care. Bye, guys.